Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use rules to distinguish different fields in a mail merge document. So I'm going to start the mail merge process on this document. It's a blank document and I'm going to select the first option. So this is where the mail merge start. It says that there, not this bit. This is nothing to do with it. So I'll go in there. I'm going to do a letter. So I'm clicking on that option. Now, the first thing you have to do is select recipients. Now, if I click into this option, you've got three there. Type a new list, which I'm not going to do. Use an existing list, which I am going to use, or an Outlook contacts list. So I'm going for this option. And my list is in a database, an access database. So let's scroll up to examples, get into access examples. And then the one I want is called company records. It's in company records. I think it's that one open and then these are the tables within that database and this is the one I want this top option so now I've basically glued this piece of paper to that database list and if that database list in access grows or shrinks this will be reflected here and you can just quickly go and tell how many records you've got there so I've got 16 items in this database but obviously I've not put any details on the screen yet so if I click on edit recipients list I will see those people and you can see all the information there in the fields or columns like so you've got sort options if you want to sort by a particular column you can do that in here you can also obviously do that in access before you get to word which is what I would tend to do you can also filter if you click on filter you can filter any field in that list that's equal to a particular thing you can filter it so it will only show those records I'm not going to do that just close that OK. Now, what you need to do is populate the document that you're going to merge with the fields. Now, you've got all the fields in this tool here, insert merge fields. But you've also got some preset options, address block. And if I just close that for a second, greetings line. So these are already pre-populated and you might want to have a quick look at these first. If I click on address block, this is the default one. I'm just, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to click OK and it drops in there for me as a bit of code, field code. If I want to see the results, I click on this option preview and it shows me that, which I'd rather have. I don't know why that's not default, to be honest. Now, what I want it to do here is some of these people. So that's Mr. David Brown. And if I navigate through these records, some of these are female. So, for example, when I get to one, there's Mrs. Ann Jones. So I want this to say, dear sir. If it's a title of Mr. and dear madam, if it's a Mrs. And I'm not getting involved in all the gender types, just doing Mr. and Mrs. for now. So what I'm going to do is use the rules area. And there's several rules in here. This is the one I want to do or use. So if then else, click on that. And then you set the field. So this example, I want to use the title field. So if it is equal to Mr., you want it to say dear sir if it's equal if it's not equal to mister so this would pick up everything else you've just got to be careful of the data types and what is actually in your database I want it to say dear madam so sir and madam click OK to that and then it comes in mrs. Ann Jones dear madam and then if I go into another record it's got a man it says dear sir so then you continue with the rest of your letter you just type whatever information you have if you've got any text you can just type that i'll just type um how how did you like and i'll just insert a field here just to show you how you can do that the city field so that's putting the same field in there but this is an address block this is the actual field when you returned and then you just populate you, you just populated um, populate the, the the letter with the fields wherever you want them and don't always think that this has to be a letter sometimes it can be a report I've done a video where it's a report dropping fields into a management report some of the programs like base database from LibreOffice does exactly that when you when you create a report in the database it generates it, it in writer which is the equivalent of word it's not as good as word but it's the equivalent of it now, so I've done that bit. Now, the last step is to finish a merge, which is, I'll click on that. You've got three options, edit individual documents, print them, 
or email them. Well, these two I'm not doing. So I'm going to click on that one, and what it will do, it will create a letter per person. And in this example, it'll be a page per person. You'll see how that works. What you should do if you're going to utilize this over and over again, and it is going to be a report, a report, you should save this. Then it saves the link between this document and the database. And like I said, if any additional records are added or deleted, even um, this, this will reflect it. This final step, though, you don't have to. I'll just click on it. It gives you the option there to filter if you want to. I'm not going to filter. I'm just going to send them all through. Click OK. It generates a new document. And if I just come down a bit so you can see them. So there's multiple documents. If I click on View so you can see them multiple pages side by side, there it is. So for every single person or every record, there is a letter like so and it says letters one at the top there you would just save this as a normal document if you so wish it's just a template copy um, but really this unless you want that for archive purposes you can just delete this once you've printed it off or emailed it um, it's it's a dead copy the main document is the other one if i just close this down don't save it this is the main document because i can keep doing that as many times as i want and it will just generate that same document over and over again so that's all I wanted to talk about in this little video, how you can use a rule to change the context of a sentence. So dear sir, in this case, or dear madam. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.